Hello everybody, welcome back to the mindfuck of a century known as Paradigm. Um, yeah, so basically for ones who did not uh, know what happened last time, basically uh, my mind got completely fucked up playing this game because I did not know what the fuck was going on whatsoever. So basically we need to put the scientists back together, which is apparently this floating torso here. And deal with this fucking goddamn hipster slash stripper. I don't know what her fucking problem is. So, oh yeah, I gotta pick that up. to find the rest of his body. Well, that's nice. I found one part of his fucking body. Now I have to find probably the rest of him. out of the wall. Come on, let me cut Life spoon is destined for greater things. Well, I can't watch well, gay. I guess let's go to the fucking and look at it. So offices lobby head mart Okay, I guess that's where we go to go get his fucking head. Um... I don't know, I can't remember where the fuck we came from. Uh, sure, let's go to the lobby. Let's see what happens. Oh, then I gotta hit activate. God damn it, Soviet Russia. Fuck this place. Oh. Well, fuck this. Can I go back? Um... Yeah. That was weird. I don't think I was supposed to be there. There was some fucking dude's... Was it a leg or an arm? Last episode that was up in here somewhere. Yeah. The fucking leg. This really grosses me out. If you're going to use severed legs for decor, at least do it properly. Okay. Hello, leg. How did you get up there, you little rascal? Are you gonna give me any kind of hint? It's too high up. I can't reach it. If only I was a noodle hand mutant. There's probably something else I could use. Oh, Alright, maybe... Maybe let's go somewhere else and maybe I'll find like a fucking ladder or something. Uh... Yeah. Let's see what other fucking, uh... Can I use the elevator, please? There we go. Get out of the way. What the fuck? 
What does that say? Maintenance guys are 10 times hotter, quote Graffiti, bringing hard-hitting social issues into the public eye. I salute you, Graffiti. Okay. Um. Hmm. I can see how this went down. Jerry, I love your design, but you know what? I also love fish. Can we get the fish in there? That's a terrible idea, but because you're paying me, okay. Nice. Uh, I guess what we go next. So I think okay, that was the labs. The lobby was that place. The offices where we're at now. Let's go to Edmore. Hey, that looks like the scientist kid over there. Wait a second, don't... <sighs> ah, I can't even get head. Literally. What is my life? Let's talk to the computer. Hello, computer terminal. Hmm, it has a password. Time to hack this bad boy. What the fuck is going on? Do you all see what I'm saying now? That this game is a complete mindfuck? I bet you're just gonna come up and you can't even do it. Login details were admin admin. Thank you, IT incompetence. Oh, I actually did get in. Good for him. Uh, choose. No. No. Uh, I think that was the guy that they just put in the system. Oh, fuck. Why do they all look fucking... Oh, well, obviously these ones don't look the same. I'm just... What the fuck was it? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Uh... You know what? Let me go backwards. Unexpected generic scientist nerd. Scientist nerd. Okay. No Wi Fi signal. Alright. Well. That just opened up for whatever fucking random reason. Guess let's fucking go over there then.
I wonder what happens when I get called maintenance. Thank you for calling maintenance. 91. Also, if this is Bob, the maintenance man, for God's sake, stop forgetting your maintenance code. Write down the elevator button pressing sequence somewhere. If you're going to write it somewhere nearby, like last time, write it in riddle form so others can't use it. Thank you for calling 90. Also, for does it change? I want to break it. This is actually sounding funny to me. Let's go here. I'm pretty sure I had a nightmare like this once. I had to have a rap battle with Internet Explorer. Turns out the dude gets a lot of smack talk from people. So he had practice. Totally destroyed me. Damn it. This is how I die. Hello, sir. I'm from IT. Welcome to the settings room. Oh, hello? I, uh. You look surprised. Well, you know, IT guys are normally, uh, a lot more greasy and awkward. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> Pretty funny, actually. I can't blame you. Popular culture distorts a lot of reality. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm looking to reset the router. Seems like the Wi-Fi is not working. Oh, really? Well, I'll get right on that. <laughs> What the fuck? I'm a walking stereotype. Welcome to my realm of pain and errors. Oh, I thought he had I'll his fucking never reset wet the pants. router. It's the only it's thing just that floppy makes it look like I do something around here. You'll never catch me. <laughs> the fuck? Probably has a turd in his pants. Really? Please work. Good. Just good. What the fuck? What in the fuck? Oh my fucking Jesus, this fucking game is so fucking weird. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Ah, god damn it. It looks like Chupasa OS just crashed. We recommend you send an error report that will never be read. Is there another option? An angrily written letter using your own blood for ink, with a light sprinkling of airborne virus in the envelope. Whoa, dude, that's intense. Can we tone it down a bit? Maybe just a passive-aggressive letter will be more applicable to your conflict-avoiding personality. That sounds doable. Now to use my Hexor skills to rally the items. Hecky hecky hecky. What? Ding. What? The fuck was that? Oh god. I feel like I'm going to vomit. <laughs>
What in the fuck is going on? What the hell is going on? Um... What? I'm... This is such a fucking drug trip. <laughs> this is so fucking insane. Um... It's too high up. Never get... Go back. Hold on. What the fuck? Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? It's too high up. Never what get the fuck. God damn it. Oh my god. Holy fucking shit. Jesus Christ in my fucking hand basket. Pick up. No. You fucking sack of shit. Go backwards. Like right fucking there. Holy fucking god damn it, this is such a fucking pain in the ass. Um Hold on. I don't know what's going on. Uh, look at every time I retrieve items from the recycling bin, I feel like a necromancer. Rise, my wrongly deleted children. Rise. Um. I don't even know what's going on, guys. I'm not gonna fucking lie to you. I am so fucking confused. It's not even funny. I but that's not how to use it. It's too never Okay. Score. I promise you, Pen. You'll be the f um, Desktop advice giver guy. Sometimes, your computer may feel used. Be sure to organize frequent date nights. Ignore the judgmental stares of other strangers. I'm just gonna get rid of him. Oh, I think I know what to do now. Virus, make sure Shut up, I don't care about you. Go backwards a bit. Lock size. Check out what's inside. Ah, uh, yes. Blank paper. Okay. I guess I gotta read that stupid fucking letter somehow. I guess if I got paper out of that, that's good. Then, um... Uh... Habitat, waiting to latch onto some poor unsuspecting soul's inbox. May they not be overwhelmed and consider throwing their computer out the window. Jack's folder don't look at it. Well, fuck you, I want to look at it. Okay. Rue amateur move, Jack. 
People use streaming services in incognito mode nowadays, so only the government can uncover your shame. Okay, well, fucking use this shit. Alright, let's see. Contraception and the rubber band collection. Let's go about 10 folders deeper. Oh, nice! A wildly inappropriate erotic novel. The jungle is full of terrors. And handsome anthropomorphic hippo men. And jackpot! A mega bro zapper. I've always wanted one of these. Pew pew pew! I can't. It keeps flying away. Um. Hold on. I can't go pew pewing all over the place. I need to go pew pew something. Um. How about you fucking... I can't. It keeps... What the fuck? If only cleaning out your inbox was this fun, you could turn it into an FPS and make a killing on heads and gun skins. Take note, developers. Take who knows if they Okay. So I guess I have to write a fucking letter. A perfect neat package of passive aggression. Okay. Where's the mailbox? Postal box? Huh. That's fucking convenient. Um. This better work. Jenkuya. No worries, dude. Hey, it worked. The door is back to normal. Except for this whole static thing. It feels like I'm dying. Uh, door? Jesus fucking Christ. Use, please. Greg, fix that goddamn router. It's been a week! My internet withdrawal symptoms are getting out of hand! I'm getting all sweaty! Do you know how super irritating it is having damp fur all day? <laughs> Funny you say that, I have an incredibly hairy chest. Shut up! Yes, Olaf, sir. And you still haven't fixed Krush's surveillance network. What's going to happen when we execute the final plan? Do you want us to be the next Neo-North Korea? Yes, Olaf. Uh, I mean, no, Olaf. Good. Oh, and one last thing. I swear to God, if I catch you posting shit memes of me online again, I will murder you. Stupid asshole. These memes are dank delicious. Oh, jeez! You escaped my realm of errors already? I was planning that escape room for months! MONTHS! You mean it was just an escape room game? Neat. Well, man, it's all a part of the process. I'm happy to give you some feedback. Thanks, Paradigm.
So, uh, why didn't you, you know, rat me out to Olaf? Well, reason one, I needed someone to playtest my escape room. Hard to get good feedback these days, you know. Reason two, Olaf's new plan. Olaf's plan is better, replacing Claus's old one. If Olaf manages to execute it, that is. I'd have to set up an international propaganda network. Which means I have to do more than pretend the router is unfixable. I really can't have that. I've got camping and fishing trips to go on with the boys. And anyway, Klaus's original plan was way better than Olaf's. Where do you know? Oh, just across the border to Polovets. It's not that great. Although really, it's the only place where the fish aren't infected with flesh-eating. Camping and fishing? I take my escape rooms. It's all a part of the show. I'm actually quite well adjusted. I have a long-term girlfriend and maintain a healthy social life. This is actually my real voice. This game just gets fucking weirder and weirder. How was Klaus's plan different to Olaf's? Yeah, we were pretty good bros. Used to play handball on Wednesdays. You see, you were the original oh, key to the plan. I remember something, fucking something, handball. the ultimate leader. Unite the world and end all conflict, yada, yada, yada. But Olaf was super jelly of you since he was only made to vomit candy bars. And the whole wanting to kill you thing. And I just realized telling you some of the plan may have, in fact, ruined the plan. So, um, I'm going to leave now so as not to mess things up anymore. What about the whole surveillance thing? Haha, <laughs> well, peace. And walking away like he has a shit in his pants. You've just moved like 10 meters away. I can still see you. Yeah, well, pretend I'm not here and just reset the router. Forget anything I said about Claus's original plan. Let's reset this bad boy. I guess that looks like a fucking. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's loud. Nice. Wi Fi is working. I can retrieve that head now. Let's go this way. Thank God I can. So there was more than one scientist's fucking uh head in there. So maybe no, I don't want to go there. I want to go to the lab. Maybe maybe I'll talk to her and ask for his fucking name or this stupid bitch. Because I think there's more than one. I'm gonna go talk to her. That is the rebel lead. And there are two. I hope. Yeah, like, and that super disgusting swimming in a pool full of milk and cereal is unsanitary. Let alone. It would be refreshing. Good Columbia doesn't have another. I need those five body parts. Okay, so she's not gonna help me. So many po buy more post notes to look more open. Signed Reginald Yaprasotosovsky. Must be that torso's name. Okay, maybe now let's go over there and. I think there was something that said his fucking name was that. You know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go on a limb and I think I've seen that name in there. Uh, head mark. Let's go this
Yeah, that was the name. Your mind now. Oh wait, uh, hang on. I best use the shopping bag to make sure no one thinks I. You are fucking ridiculous, paradigm. Get in there, you fucking weirdo. Maybe there might be something there. Hey, uh, do you mind if I- Frankly, I don't do much Lansing these days. Oh, yes. It's enchanted, too. His name is Larry Lancey. Just ask him nicely and you can summon or unsummon him. Larry Lancey, keen to ride with- Yes, let us unite and bring pain and su- And then drink some cold brewskis over their corpses. Well, that's the easiest weapon I've ever gotten in, my, in a video game ever. Actually, wait a minute. Hold on. I have a fucking weird idea. Maybe I shish kebab his leg? Ghostly show. Even if you were crafted for murder, you can go against the grain and do something positive. Summon Lance Larry. Attack leg. Goodbye, fleshy mortal. I must go back to my realm. Later, Larry Lancey. I love fantasy magic. Huh. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Uh, yeah, pick that up. So I have arm one, scientist said, leg one. So I guess I need another leg and an arm. Yeah, I'm gonna guess I probably, that's what I need. Another leg and an arm. All right, well, you know what? I'll leave it here for now. Fucking, if you like the video, leave a like, freaking comment and shit, you know, say either A, I'm fucking being stupid, or B, fucking, if you have any ideas on how to solve this crap, because, I don't know, I think I've just been getting stupid lucky with this, I've just been making stupid guesses, and I don't know how the hell I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that arm that's in the fucking elevator is how I get it, is the other arm I need, and then I'm gonna guess, like, there's probably one or two other places I haven't been to yet, and I guess I could either get either a leg, or maybe that's not where the arm comes from. Who fucking knows? But, um, I'll catch y'all later in the fucking next video. Thank you for watching, and fucking peace, my dudes.